Hey guys, here with the Holden Corkshell Summit Bib, courtesy of Gravity Sports and Mount Bachelor. Um, first off, with the fit on this, it's a medium. Um, you can see my specs below. Um, the, the design is in between what I know as a bib and a bib pant. Um, if you're familiar with the Patagonia Pal Slayer, that's a bib pant. You know, it doesn't come all the way up. It doesn't have that full coverage. This is kind of in between because you've got a pretty high area here, higher than most companies' bib pants. Um, and then you've got this ASIM design here, but it drops down a lot, um, which I'm assuming is just for more breathability. The, the focus of this, this bib is for the backcountry. It's made of a shoulder cork shell fabric, which is known for being abrasion resistant, super breathable. However, the waterproofness isn't published. Um, it only states at the manufacturer's site that it has a membrane, an adaptable membrane, they call it. Which, again, I think the focus there is, is breathability. Um, this does and not it's, have... It's kind of like Gore-Tex, right? Gore kind of. It would be like Gore-Tex active, I would assume. Well, in the yeah. sense that they don't publish. It's true. Uh, not in the sense, like, we don't know how right. it compares to Gore-Tex. That's, that's true, yeah. yeah. Um, the comfort level of these is exceptional. I don't know of any fabric that feels better against skin than, that I've tried other than this. It's amazingly soft and, com and, uh, and comfortable. Um, however, doesn't have the adjustability that the other Holden bibs have from the outside, the little Velcro stretch tab. So if it doesn't, if you got too much room in the waist here, you're gonna have to use a belt. So it does have the belt loops. Um, plenty of pockets. Starting here, one major pocket, no media outlet. And again, I think that's because whatever reason, maybe they didn't want to put one in there. They didn't want to, you know, because you're, it's designed for the backcountry. Um, we do have a floating taffeta here on the front that's going to make things really easy to slide in and out. Um, we've got micro fleece on the inside of both of the side pockets. Then, there's a really cool pocket here. I'm a big fan of this because that's just sort of where I like to put a phone. Kind of annoys me up in this area. So we've got how one of it, those on it, the right. Does it touch down to the bony parts it goes, of your leg? Yeah, just the top. Not okay. And you know that's that's gonna come down to fit and your yeah the length of your femur. Um, there's no lining in this, so you can really you know it's just the shoulder fabric. Um, and these are these are all sealed zips. Um, along with the top zip, as you can see here. So, plenty of venting, again, for the backcountry. Um, all the way up, double zip here. Easy to get on and off. Hopefully nobody's getting blinded. Um, it's better than me. I think I'm wider. <laughs> and obviously got those on both sides. In the back, we've only got a single pocket, and that's also just the, uh, the floating to feta there. Um, all in all, if you're looking for something exceptionally breathable, lightweight, and you like this design, and obviously the fit, then this could be a great bib or bib pant. So this is my take on the Cork Shell Summit bib. Um, I, you know, I really like this material, and uh, I like the, um, the inner lining here, this uh, taffeta lining uh, on the inside around the legs. I think it's a great idea. And I like this thicker material. I like the double fleece pockets. I like that it's kind of minimized as a bib up top. It doesn't go super high, but you've got enough room to keep out most uh, powder. Um, and I'm not really a bib guy. I'm like one of the only ones who likes just regular old pants. Um, but this fit is good. It uh, feels good. I like this, like I said, I like this thicker material mainly because I like a warmer shell. And if you're like that, like I don't need all this insulation, but I do like a little bit of thickness. And so I think kind of the opposite of Grant, I think I would love having these pants on the mountain um, riding resorts as as much as Grant likes it backcountry. So I guess it all depends on your taste, but there's my take.